So as we get started today, this video is divided into chapters. If you wanna skip at any point, just a look at the sliding bar underneath the plating window and you can see the chapters to skip ahead. Welcome back to the Crochet Kratos. Those my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. We're gonna continue the Healing Stitches Afghan. A great question came in. I wanna learn the Healing Stitches Stitch. There is no Healing Stitches Stitch. This is a concept based on Jeannie going through um, a situation in her life and using a new design that she created to help herself cope. So it's more of a backstory than it is a stitch itself. So what we, where I left you last time, we've done rounds number one through ten already and now we're gonna continue our journey and move, continue to move through the instructions. So we're on page number two starting on round number 11 and we're gonna continue our journey. So using a six millimeter size J crochet hook, it's the same hook that you have been using and I am going to continue the same idea of just building up one side on this so that I can show you because the repeating is the same on the rest of the three sides. So let's continue our journey and let's move along now to round number 11. So we left you on the last corner on round number 10 and so now we're gonna begin number 11 and this time we're gonna be doing some shell work. So we haven't done that before on this pattern yet. So let's continue and we're going to chain three which will count as a double crochet. So one, two, three, one, two, three and then you're going to put eight more double crochets into that same corner. So let's count those out together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So with the chaining of three and those eight that gives you a total of nine. So just remember that the corners will be nine double crochets. When you go to start the next one just kind of pull on it so that you can see all the stitch so that you can see everything where it's gonna go. So here is the first stitch. So you're going to skip this stitch right here and then you're skipping three stitches. So you're skipping one, two, three and in the next stitch here, the fourth one away, you are going to apply a single crochet. Now you're going to skip only two stitches. So one and two and then you're gonna start in the third one away and you're going to put in five double crochet. So one, two, three, four and five and then that is going to then transition us to the next one. So we're gonna skip two and then go to the third. So you will have noticed that when we started this side after the corner we skipped over three stitches. That's to keep the balance. So just make sure that you're not skipping over three as you're going and doing this section here. So we're skipping two, one and two, go to the third and put in five double crochet. So we do that in designing sometimes when the math doesn't work out completely. So we may skip a stitch or we may add a stitch in order to have the balance and that's what's happened here. So it doesn't make it wrong. That's just how it's done. So we're gonna skip two, single crochet, skipping two and go to the third and put in five more double crochet. So you're gonna do this all the way across to the corner. Skipping two, single crochet in the next. And then what you're going to do is that once you get here, you have three stitches in a row. So you're going to automatically skip all three of those and then you are just going to continue along and you are going to go right into the corner. So the corner then was nine double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. So once you've turned, just kind of shift things out of the way so you can see it. So here that we have is, is the first stitch. So one, two, three. See how it looks like it's kind of underneath? You just gotta watch that. So one, two, three and then that's where you're going to single crochet and then you'll skip two and then you'll start your five double crochets. You'll do it again. So when you get to the other side of the corner, remember that you're skipping the final three before you get there. I'll see you at the end of this round. Continue this and I'll see you on the end of number 11 in just a moment. 
So I'm coming up to the end of number 11. So just remember that you'll have three before the corner. And so you have the single crochet. So you're just gonna take it and then just join it to the beginning. Chain three in which you started. And that was round number 11. Just before I let you go, what I would strongly recommend even if you're keeping the same color is just to break this yarn. And when we start the next round, number 12, we wanna start in the fifth one of this grouping of nine. And so then it will put you right back in the corner. So you can slip stitch, but I always find the slip stitch is very noticeable. So that's something that you'll wanna keep in mind. Now let's actually go to number 12. Let's begin round number 12. So start off with a slip knot on the hook. We're gonna do a standing single crochet which creates a nice looking stitch right off the hop. And so you wanna come to the fifth one of the grouping of nine which will put you right into the corner. So insert it into the fifth one and then yarning over pulling it through. And when you pull through keep the both loops on and then yarning over pulling through two and that's a standing single crochet. In the same stitch you're going to do another single crochet and then a chain two and another single crochet or two single crochets. So the corners on this round number 12 is going to be two single crochet, chain two, two single crochet. So now we're gonna continue with these smaller shells. So it's just a shell and uh, we're gonna continue and fill the space in between. So to get started once the corner is done, you're going to skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next. So you notice that there's no chain one or anything in between it. So just reach on over and single crochet there. The shell is going to go into this one that has the single crochet and the shell is consisting of five double crochets from before like we did before. Just like that. And then skipping two and on the top of the next shell you just need to single crochet and then continue to shell again. So skipping two and come in between that single crochet and do that all the way to the corner. So continue to do this across and I will see you at the end of this side in just a moment. So coming up to the next corner you are going to skip two stitches and you are going to single crochet the third one away and remember that the fifth stitch of the corner is the real corner. So what we need to do is count that. So just count the actual sh a big shell itself, the large shell. So one, two, three, four, five. So technically you're skipping one stitch which I, which I could have told you that as well but I would like you to understand why. And in that stitch you are going to apply two single crochets first and then chain two and then two single crochet. And then you start the next side again. So when you start the next side just chain, I uh, skip this one, single crochet the next and then just reach on and start doing your shell work like you had been doing that before. So I'll see you at the end of this round and this is round number 12 and I'll be right back in just a moment. So in coming around number 12, so you have your uh, regular shell in there, the shell. So you're just gonna skip the two and you'll single crochet the next and you technically should have a stitch left over before the first corner even starts. And so you'll slip stitch to the first single crochet and that was the end of number 12. So let's continue now to round number 13. So continuing along we need to get ourselves in round number 13 to the uh, corner. So we're going to slip stitch ourselves to the corner. And then that's where our journey is going to begin on this round. So to start you're going to chain three which will count as a double crochet and you'll double crochet again in that there in that corner. Okay, she actually has us, uh, Jeannie has us doing the, um, the corner all complete. So we're going to chain two and we'll do two more double crochets. So before we've only been doing halves, she has a method to the madness. Let's go along with it and that's what we're going to do. So now as we continue across, we're going to use the back loops only and it's gonna be starting in the very first stitch and if you're new to crochet, chances are you're not doing this video but if you are, um, there's the first strand is the front loop and the other one here is the back loop. So you wanna do the back loop only. So BLO below is back loop only and you're going to just double crochet yourself on the back loop all the way to the next corner. So in the chain two space in the next corner it's going to be the same of two double crochet, chain three, uh, chain two, 
two double crochet. So I'm going to rely on you to go all the way around at this point and I'll see you back here in just a moment and we'll continue along into 13 finishing in just a moment. So coming up to the end of number 13, you're still working on those back loops until you get all the way to where you had started. And remember that the final corner is actually completely done. So you just wanna come into your very last stitch and I'm just checking to see which one that is and that is currently it. And I'm just going to just join it to the beginning chain three. And I'd probably recommend at this point is that just get rid of this yarn and start a fresh one here. And if not, you can just slip stitch on over and then start round number 14. So depending on your color layouts of course with, with what you'd like to do. Let's begin number 14 in a moment. So round number 14 is how we started the shell work here when we did the big um, nine double crochets in the corner but the stitch count to skip when we come out of a corner is slightly different than what we've done before. So just it's not the same exactly. So right in the corner where you are just chain three that counts as one double crochet and then just put in eight more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So with the chain three and the eight that gives you a total count of nine. Now you're only gonna skip one stitch we skipped three last time. This time it's only skip one and then single crochet in the next. And now you're going to continue the regular shell work that you know. So skipping two stitches and go to the third and put five double crochets in that one. So you just gotta watch these corners on how you're starting. So once the regular shell is in there skipping two, single crochet the third one away, skipping two and then do the shell which is five double crochets. So please do this all the way to the next uh, corner and I'll see you back here in just a moment and I'll take you over here just to make sure that you're finishing it off right on each side. I'll be right back in a moment. So when you get to the next corner you're skipping two, you're coming into the third one and noticing that there's only one stitch left before the corner and that makes, that tells us that we're in balance because that's how many, that's where we should be. So in the corners there will be nine double crochets to turn. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So once you have the nine in just kind of shift things so you can see the first one. So skipping that one, single crochet in the next, skipping two and then begin the shell work all over again. So I'll see you at the end of this round. This is lucky round number 14. I don't know what makes it lucky but it's 14. <laughs> so coming around number 14, well hypothetically right. So skipping two and then single crochet into the next. That means that there's one stitch left before this which means that we're right and then you're just gonna just immediately just slip stitch to the beginning chain three. And like before what I would strongly recommend is probably just fasten off and or slip stitch to the fifth one in. Uh, so count one, two, three, four, five and that will be your new corner and then that will kick you off on round number 15. So you can decide whether you wanna have a clean break. Um, you do definitely see these slip stitches when you do it uh, in that much of a distance but that might be something that you can live with. So let's continue along to round number 15. So round number 15 you're going to start off in the fifth stitch. So if you wanna st uh, start with a clean break and, and fresh air and that's up to you. And what we're going to do is that you're just gonna chain one and in the same space put in two single crochets. So you can do a standing single crochet if it's brand new. So two single crochets, chain two and two single crochets. So this is exactly like it was before when we were filling in the spots in between and we're coming down. So we're actually technically repeating this row right here. So we're gonna skip one stitch from there. Okay, it's one and then go to the second and single crochet and then skipping two and you're in the base here of the single crochet here and you're going to do those little shells. So there's five double crochets in each one of those those chain ones or sorry those single crochets going across. So once your five double crochets are in 
you're going to come to the next grouping of five and just in the middle one single crochet and then it's the space in between that you're gonna fill it in with those shells so five double crochet. So please do this all the way across and I'll see you at the end of this um, um, row over here in just a moment. So I'm coming up just before the corner so it's the single crochet I'm just putting in these on the five double crochet for the shell. So skipping two, one and two go to the third and then skipping one and this one the next one after that is your corner which is the fifth one. So in that one there you're going to single crochet twice, chain two and single crochet again twice. Okay you're going to skip the next one and you're going to put in a single crochet. Then you're going to skip two and then the next one will be five double crochets and you'll do that all the way around. So I'll see you at the end of the round in just a moment. This is round number 15 and I'll be right back. So when you come around at number 15 you'll have your shell in there. So skipping two you'll single crochet into the one after that and then you should have one stitch left over which is right there which is you're going to skip and you'll just immediately slip stitch to the first single crochet that you started with and that was round number 15. Let's continue to move along round number 16. Round number 16. We're going to slip stitch ourselves to get ourselves to the next corner and we've done this before. So Jeannie wants us to do the space or like the complete corner. So we're gonna chain three and then one double crochet and then chain two and one double crochet. Now yeah, I've technically already shown this before so I'll just quickly talk about it and this is the back um, the back loop row that we have here. So starting after you get this corner done in the first stitch just one double crochet in each of the back loops all the way across and then in the corners it's two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So please do that all the way around. I'll see you at the end of this round. Um, it's what you already know and I'll be right back in just a moment. Coming up to the end of number 16 I'm working in the back loops as I approach the corner and then you're just going to single crochet or sorry slip stitch to the first chain three in which you started. Let's move on to round number 17 and we're going to start off and we're going to get ourselves to a corner. So if you wanna start in a corner you can or just slip on over and we'll begin 17 in a moment. So starting off in the corner in number 17 you're going to chain one that will not count as a stitch it's just a builder and you will half double crochet into the corner and then chain two and half double crochet again. So in the corners of this particular round will be one half double crochet, chain two, one half double crochet. The remaining posts are all going to be a back post double crochet so wrap in the hook and come from the back to the front and push that post to the back again and pull through, pull through two and two. So this is a back post double crochet and you're gonna back post double crochet the entire side other than the corners. So from the back push it, the post to the back so once you can get this started it's just a matter of just continuing. So what I want you to do I think this is self explanatory so just back post double crochet yourself all the way to the corner. The corners will be one half double crochet, chain two, one half double crochet and continue to back post all the stitches then to the next corner and etc. I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number 17. Coming around on number 17 I'm back uh, doing the double crochet back post right to the end. The corner is already done from what we did, uh, started with so just a slip stitch to the top of the first half double crochet. So remember that chain one that we did didn't count as anything. So that's it for that and let's move on to round number 18 next. Let's begin number 18. We've already done uh, row number 18 all the way back here when we did the crisscross. It's the same uh, function that we're gonna do. So you can either start in the chain two space as a corner in, or you can slip stitch over if you're using the same color. So we're gonna complete the corner right off the hop. So we're gonna chain three and put in another double crochet and then chain two and two more double crochet into the same corner. So that'll be your corners. Two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So starting in the very first one this is where people go wrong. It's in this first half double crochet. 
this here which appears to be the next stitch is the actual second stitch. So just shift it over so you can expose this half double crochet. That's why I try not to design those in the corners because that's where people go wrong the most. And you're going to single or sorry you're gonna double crochet there. Now we're gonna start the crisscrossing like we already have done in the past. So we're gonna skip the next one and then double crochet the next and then come back and double crochet the one you skipped. And so we already showed you that before in video number one. So skip in the next one, double crochet in the next and then come to the one you skipped. So I want you to crisscross all the way to the next corner. I'll see you uh, close to the next corner in just a moment just to make sure you've done it right and I'll be right back in just a moment. So I'm coming close to the corner. So when you're doing this crisscross you will use all the remaining stitches of the side and then immediately head right into the corner. So it's only when you begin a uh, side that you have that extra uh, double crochet. So that remember it's two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet for the corner. And remember when you start a new side, the first stitch out of the corner and remember if you, it's not here, it's here. This is where people go wrong and they email saying that their stitch counts are off. So that's gonna be one double crochet by itself and then you start your crisscrossing again to the next corner. So you're gonna continue this for round number 18 and I'll be right back in just a moment. So I'm coming all the way to the other side and we're just continuing our journey of the crisscross. Remember that it's the corner that you're approaching. There's no extra stitches left. So you're gonna crisscross right to the end and then just slip stitch to the top of the chain three and that will conclude off round number 18 and then you can start off in the next chain two space with the new color or just slip on over and let's begin number 19 in a moment. Number 19 is a nice easy break for you. You're going to just chain three and one double crochet into the same corner and then chain two and two more double crochets. So we're gonna complete the first corner all together when we come around. Now each stitch across is going to be one double crochet so it's, you don't have to really think about it and then in the corners uh, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So please do this all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of number 19 in just a moment. Coming all the way around on number 19 and going into the last stitch just slip stitch to the top of the chain three and to get ready for number 20 let's just get ourselves to the corner slip stitch over or st start your new color there and we'll begin the next round number 20. Let's begin number 20. We're gonna start what is called as V stitches for the first time and in right where we are we're going to chain three and a double crochet into the same one and we're gonna finish the corner right off the hop. So chain two and two more double crochet. So the corners in this round are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Now there's a, an exception when you come out of a corner for this one here and you are going to skip the next one here and you're going to come to the second one over and we're gonna do a V stitch. And so you're just going to double crochet, chain one and double crochet into the same stitch. Now all the way to the corner you were going to then skip two uh, stitches here and then the third one is another V stitch. So it's a double crochet and then chain one and a double crochet. So skipping two, go to the third, double crochet, chain one and double crochet into the same stitch. Please do this. I'll see it near the end of the first corner in just a moment. So when you're coming all the way to the first corner you are skipping the final two before the corner. Jeannie has us doing that and we're going to put in our two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So it's just an exception on the first um, V stitch going out. So if you turn you're going to skip only the first one and you're going to V stitch into the next. And then you start jumping your twos. So skipping two, go to the third and etc. So please do this all the way around. I'll see you at the end of this round number 20 in just a moment. I'm coming to the end of number 20 so I'm skipping the final two and just slip on over to the top of the chain three. So going into 21 you can slip on over to the space or start a new color. It's up to you and we'll begin number 21 in just a moment. Let's begin number 21. We're going to start by chaining three and we'll complete the corner. Uh, it's gonna be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet so the chain three counts as one of them. And then we have to get ourselves established before we can start the fun stuff. So we 
have to pay our admission to the theme part first. So what we're going to do is that we're gonna double crochet into the first two stitches that are out from the corner. And then the repeat pattern all the way to the next corner is going to be as follows. Each of these chain one spaces is going to have three double crochets in them. So where it changes is right just before the corner which I will see there in just a moment. So just put in three double crochets into these chain one spaces all the way to the corner and I'll see you back here in a moment and I'll show you how to finish the side. So when you get close to the corner what I want you to pay attention to is that you're going to skip this stitch here and then these two here before the corner will have one double crochet each in them. So that brings it to back to balance and then the corners will be two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. So as you start another side just start with the first two as being your double crochet and then immediately jump to the chain one space of the V stitch and put in your three double crochet and you'll be doing that all the way around. So just make sure that you end and start or sorry start and end your um, uh, corners just perfectly so that you can do that. So I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number 21. So as you're coming around you'll do your last V stitch that is before the corner. So there's three uh, double crochets. So you're skipping the, this one and then the final two each get a double crochet. And that will be how you will complete round number 21. So once you have that done you're just going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. And let's get ourselves to the corner before we go to 22. So just slip on over to the corner and let's begin 22 in just a second. Let's begin number 22. We are going to do a V stitch again but we are going to change the parameters so that it's more in balance now than it was before. So it's not this technically the same instruction but it's pretty close and it will look pretty close. So you're just gonna chain three and then you'll double crochet into the same uh, corner, chain two and two double crochet. So the corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So this time you are skipping a total of two stitches. So we only skipped once once we did it back here but we are skipping two and we'll start our V stitch. So it's a double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the same. Then skipping two, double crochet, chain one and skipping two. Or sorry, um, double crocheting and then skipping two. So please do this. I'll see you close to the first corner turn and I'll be right back. So once you get close to your corner you're skipping the final two and then you are just doing your corner. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So you can see that Jeannie put us back in balance um, and that's awesome. So it's easier to remember. So chaining, uh, skipping two and then V stitch into the third and etc. So I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number 22. So coming all the way back around you're just following the pattern as you know it and just join with the slip stitch to the beginning and then slip stitch yourself all the way to the next corner or start the new color at the corner. So let's uh, begin and we're gonna go to 23 next. Doing number 23 is the same as doing number 21. So we're going to then just chain three to begin and we are going to put in a double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So that's your corner, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So we're gonna start off in the beginning and we're going to put in a double crochet in the first two stitches. Just like that. Now we're going to work our way all the way to the next corner. So in these chain one spaces which is the middle of the V stitch there will be three sing, uh, double crochets like we did before. So what I'm gonna have you do is that I'll have you go across. I'll see you at the next corner to make sure you're turning properly and then we'll be right back in a second. So getting close to the corner it's the last V stitch in. So you're skipping this stitch right here and then the next two are a double crochet and then our corner is next. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And to start another side is the first two will have a double crochet and then you'll skip to the V stitch with the space and put in three 
double crochet is there and etc. You'll do that all the way across. So um, please do that. I'll see you at the end of number 23 in a moment. So just coming around to the end of number 23 and it's a double crochet is in the final two. So you're gonna skip this one here and then just slip stitch it to the top of the chain three. So what I'm gonna have you do is just slip stitch to the next corner and that's where we're gonna hold today. So it's going to be the end of number 23 and I'll see you next time as we continue our journey starting in round number 24 coming up next time. Have a good one and we hope to see you again real soon. Bye bye.